Hello, and welcome to the Evan Clifton Show, presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Tennis Head Coach Evan Clifton. Coach, um, you guys wrapped up the regular season on Saturday. You traveled yep. up to Arcadia, um, both the men and women, and um, the men closed out with a victory, and the women, um, fortunately, suffered defeat and unfortunately missed out on a playoff spot via yeah. the tiebreaker. So um, yeah. first, let's just talk about the men and um, them finishing strong. Yeah, so it was another good win for the guys. Uh, it's six in a row for the second time this spring, so we're streaking again, and that's yep. good. We look to continue that into the, the MAC semifinal uh, rematch against uh, Leb Val. So, yeah, man, uh, the match was great. Doubles, we came out with a sweep pretty quick. Um, you know, there was 8-4, 1, and then the other 2 and 3 doubles we took a little bit uh, a little bit quicker in that. So it was nice to get out there and kind of stomp on them early um, and then, you know, get to, to get the first two singles wins uh, and clinch right away 5-0 was, was nice. Yeah. Um, and that allowed us to sort of focus, as coaches, focus on, on the women's match. And, um, and they, you know, it was a dogfight. It was a tough match. The girls, um, we knew we, we sort of – we we sort of had to win it to to get in and um you know we didn't get it done we yeah. were we were there we were close uh, doubles we we started really slow at one the girls rebounded and were able to uh, to come back they were down I think seven four that match um, and were able to win uh, nine seven and then or sorry uh, nine eight and yeah. tie break and then so I mean, it was nice it was a nice match for our one doubles team to finish the conference undefeated so yeah. for the first time so that was nice uh, unfortunately two and three we just couldn't quite get it done and then uh, in singles we. You know, we, we had a tight three-set match at one. We had a three-set match at four singles that we pulled out. But, you know, Kelsey played injured at three. Kirsten struggled at two. Um, you know, and we just couldn't get it quite done at, at, uh, at six singles. But yeah. hats off to Arcadia. Those girls came to play, and, and they took it to us. Yeah, and obviously it ended up being a three-way tie for the – for two final playoff spots, unfortunately, just based on points, you guys missed out. Yeah, yeah, it's it's unfortunate. Yeah, um, so obviously for the women, that wraps up their season. And although obviously you didn't quite get to where you wanted to be, obviously mm. marked improvement on the women's side. And you have to be encouraged, you know, by that with everybody coming back yeah. next year. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, yeah, definitely, the team made a lot of strides. Certainly improved on last year. Um, but really, what I what I was really happy with this season is. You know, we were, we were sort of struggling going into spring break, yeah. and and we had to change some things. The girls had to sort of look within themselves and, uh, you know, figure out like how to own and correct their mistakes. And we've done it, and they got better, and they got a lot better throughout yeah. the spring. We didn't quite finish as strong as we wanted there yeah. at the end, um, but we know we'll be back. And that's you know a lot of that is you know we don't have a, we didn't have a single senior in the lineup. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was all freshmen and sophomores. Um, you know, and two juniors, and so the experience factor you know is going to be more in our favor next year and we'll be able to win those close matches having been there before yeah absolutely having some some of the uh some experience in those high pressure matches where there's mm -hmm. something on the line will actually help going forward absolutely yeah and now we'll shift uh, gears to the men's side um you open up conference play actually have a home match tomorrow mm -hmm. 3 30 yep. over on green spring mm -hmm. um against lebanon valley uh, you know a match that was very tight during the regular season and yep. um you know obviously it'll be a dog fight once again yeah, yeah, it will be. Um, yeah, it was a tough match when we played them before. We, uh, you know, we took um, two out of three doubles. Uh, we really struggled with three doubles that match, and we'll have a little bit different combination of the doubles lineup. Simply, I mean, we, we really we went into that match without our number one. Ray was right. Ray was ill and wasn't able to play. Um, you know, th that being said, a lot of guys stepped up. We took two out of three doubles. We were up 5-1. You know, we had clinched the match up 5-1. Um, and obviously we held on for a 5-4 yeah. victory. But, you know, with Ray coming back in there, everyone healthy, uh, you know, different, a little bit different combination in yeah. doubles lineup. I think we'll, you know, we're, we're confident. We should, you know, we're confident we'll get the job done. Um, we're going to come ready to play. It's going to be, I'm sure Lebanon Valley will travel with a lot of fans. We're going to have a lot of our friends and family out there. So, you know, come to the courts tomorrow, 3.30. It'll be, it'll be a great match. Yeah, it should be exciting. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck, um, not only Wednesday, but hopefully should you advance on Saturday in the conference final, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Thank you. All right, for Evan Clifton, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Evan Clifton Show.